What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Choice Specs Golden Go team and Choice Band Urshfu team on the Regulation D ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus is a perfect Pokemon to pair up with Golden Go, considering you can pop a nice little Tailwind, give Golden Go speed control, pop a nice big time, make it rain, get that stab boost, the choice specs boost, and just get going from there. Tornadus also has Bleak Wind Storm, Taunt, and Sunny Day for weather control, Prankster, and the Mental Herb as its item. In our second slot, we got his Suin Arcanine, who is so good, especially when Shen Pao is on the field. This team does not consist of Shen Pao, but Arcanine can still thrive out on its own. It's got Intimidate with the Assault Vest as item, rocking out with Rock Slide, Extreme Speed, Flare Blitz, and Stone Edge. In our third slot is a Pokemon you can't go wrong with. It is going to be Fluttermane with Protosynthesis and a Booster Energy. This one's got Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Icy Wind, and Protect. I've been seeing a lot of Fluttermane's Rock Icy Wind on the rank ladder, which is really, really cool. It's, it's a fast Pokemon. You can grant some speed control with it, so we'll definitely be using Fluttermane and probably rocking out with Icy Wind in a couple of battles. And our fourth slot is going to be Golden Go. Love this Pokemon from Gen 9 with the Steel and Ghost typing. It's got good as gold, and like we already mentioned, the choice specs as its item. It's got Make It Rain, Shadow Ball for two stab moves, Thunderbolt for coverage, and then Trick to pass off that choice specs onto opposing Pokemon. In our fifth slot, we got Landers, our second Intimidate Pokemon with the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got that Water Terror type with EQ, Stomping Cantrum, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. In our final slot, we got the Dark and Fighting Urshfu, who hits like an absolute truck, especially with this choice band. It has Unseen Fist to hit through Protects, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and U-Turn. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this choice spec Golden Go and choice band Urshfu Regulation D team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we're going up against a pretty cool team. They got Gyarados, they got Volcarona, Fluttermane, super super strong Pokemon, and then Rotom Wash, Baxter Caliber, and Grimmsnarl. I believe they're going to lead Grimmsnarl. It seems like a screen's Grimmsnarl. You get rocking out from there. They could also lead Intimidate, but Grimmsnarl is definitely a Pokemon they are going to lead. So I feel as Golden Go, alongside with Tornadus, is probably their player, right? Definitely our play. It's gotta be our play. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm gonna end up leading these two. I am going to bring Urshifu in the back end. All right, let me see your speed real quick. That's still 149, especially we're gonna get Tailwind off. I definitely want Fluttermane, so I'm gonna bring Fluttermane, and then who do I bring from here? We have a lot of good options. Arcanine's gonna be great because it's gonna be super effective onto a few of these guys, but Landorus is just as strong. Same thing with Urshifu. I feel as we need a Pokemon to kind of deal with that Rotom Wash. So Urshfu is just an all-around great Pokemon. So I'm going to actually bring in that Pokemon with the Choice Band and get Rocket out from there. But we're going to lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yesterday, I did not upload. Want to apologize for that. I've actually been sick. If you guys can't tell my voice, voice is a little gone. I haven't been feeling too good. I haven't been getting a lot of rest. But hey, we're back here. We're recording for you guys. I got you guys. I got you guys. So if I sneeze, I cough, all that good stuff. It's just it's just because I'm sick, man. I'm going through. I'm going through. I usually get sick like once or twice a year. And, and, and now's the time of year where I'm getting sick. So we're going to deal with it. But uh, they're going to go back to Calibur. They're going to go Grimstar. And I don't mind just popping to make it rain on this thing. Do I Terra? I feel like I have to Terra, right? I have to Terra. I have to go Terra Tailwind. It's, it's, it's an all-day kind of thing. It's an all-day kind of thing. We got to do this all day. So we're going to Terrastalize straight steel coming at you. Straight steel. We're super effective on the build because it's just a bad lead for him. And Choice Spec Golden Go is going to come off hot here. What I think potentially is going to happen is maybe... No, no way he's faking out the Golden Go slot, right? There's no way he's faking out the Golden Go slot. I was going to say, that's a protected Pokemon. He's going to end up protecting the Backscalibur. Right play right there. And Tailwind is going to fly. So we're just going to get rid of Grimstraw here. Probably is going to set up a Light Screen, but it should be dead either way. Yeah, Light Screen's out and about. That's fine. So Light Screen comes out here. We should still say bye-bye to Grimstraw. And then... Up here, probably just pop Bleak Wind Storms and keep throwing Make It Rain left and right. I'll cool with that. I'll cool with that. Grimstar goes down. See you later. See you later. Do we have any physical attackers in the back? We have Urshifu, which is good. We do have Urshifu. The Light Screen was definitely valuable for them. I wish they wouldn't have got that off, but it'd be like that. So I'm minus one on attack. I still don't mind. I mean, I can definitely see a Terra type coming out from Max Galbert. I think we still just pop another Make It Rain. And then from here, we just Bleak Wind Storm, right? Makes the most sense. 
it makes the most sense. I could taunt, but I'm really taunting these attackers right here. Not gonna do anything crazy. I could sunny day. You know what a sunny day pop? Kind of a little bit, right? Just a tad bit. I feel as we should sunny day, especially for protosynthesis. Actually, you got boost energy. There's no point. Okay. Okay, so yeah, Bleakman Storm's gonna be replied. We're just gonna start doing some nice damage. Trying to get rid of Baxcalibur would be huge. But Baxcalibur's gonna hit the Terror type. It's gotta be Baxcalibur. And we'll go from there. Yep, Baxcalibur ground type thing? Yep, ground type. Look at that read. Well, we didn't make a read. We just, we just knew he was ground type. A lot of them have been ground type, as we saw. He goes to the ground type, and we have some speed. Bleakman Storm's gonna fly. It's gonna miss somebody. Who's, who's dodging that? Of course, Baxcalibur dodges it. Maker Rain's gonna cook again, so it's not gonna KO anything, but it's still gonna do a nice chunk of damage with the stabbing to respect. We love it. I might end up swapping Golden Go. We'll see. We'll see. Discharge gonna fly here. Great play for him. And it's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. And EQ. Nice little double combo. I love that. So Golden Go's gonna drop here. There's no doubt in my mind. And from here, I feel as we do we just bring out Shifu? Do we just bring out Urshfu? Maybe. Urshfu will flutter me here. I think Urshfu's gonna play. Especially with Wicked Blow with the Tailwind out here. I think I'm all about it. I think I'm all about it. We got the choice band. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So from here... From here, I'm thinking of just slapping up on the U, taking out Baxcalibur. And then maybe... That's just throwing a bleak one storm. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's fine by me. So I'll go Wicked Blow. I will go bleak one storm. We end up connecting on the both this time. And we'll get rid of Baxcalibur, which is lovely. Do we get speed drop on anybody? No, no speed drop. So Wicked Blow takes you out. We get the crit. I am curious to see what Rotom's going for. I would expect another discharge to fly out here. So we got one turn left in Tailwind, which is massive. Hopefully, we do not get paralyzed in this, and I have a feeling we're going to get paralyzed. We get paralyzed? No? Cool? Please? Awesome. Cool. So, no paralyzed comes out here. We have one turn left in Tailwind, which is massive because they can't just protect through my Urshfu. They can just hit it with a Wicked Blow to protect. That's really, really big. And from here, they're going to throw out their final poop, which is going to be Gary the Garrett. So, Intimidate comes out here. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about Intimidate at all. Because I am choice into a move that is critical hitting this whole time. So I get the Protosynthesis bop, pop, and that is going to be beautiful speed. And from here, we are just going to hit up on this Rotom, and at the same time, I think we just gleam across the board. Yeah, I think it's a simple call. I think it's a simple call. We got to get rid of Rotom. Rotom is more of a problem than Gyarados, because Gyarados is a lot of them. Oh, he's going to protect too, which we do not mind. But a lot of them are like more so support nowadays. So I don't really mind going up against Gyarados. So Dazzling Gleam is going to get cooking here. And Wicked Blow should definitely be able to take the same out here. Choice Band, Sab, get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Beautiful first match from us. We should have no problem finishing up the Scaredos. I think we outspeed it too, even without Tailwind. I could Icy Wind it, which I might end up doing. I think I am going to Icy Wind it, just to make sure we get off at least one Wicked Blow. So battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get things started. Second match is on its way, and it feels good to showcase the Choice Spec Golden Go and Urshifu in the same matchup. But we have a tougher challenge on our hands in match number two here. Going up against a top tier meta team. They got Tornadus, they got Urshifu, they got Rillaboom, Fluttermane, Shen Pao, and Hisui Article. Like I said, top tier on the meta. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? They can lead Intimidate, they can lead Speed Control, they can lead Fake Out Control with Rillaboom. There's just a lot of different options, which is such a pain. It really is such a pain, but I'm thinking I'm just going Fluttermane. Icy Wind could work wonders here. I could also go in with uh, Tornadus just to get some speed control, and I'm pretty down for that, right? I am pretty down for that. Or I could go Golden Go again. Choice back Golden Go could be lovely. Could be a lovely little Pokemon. Do we want to do that? Maybe? I just feel as they lead Tornadus, right? I really see that happening. So, you know what? I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go Tornadus. And I'm going to Intimidate right off the rip. They got a lot of physical attackers. I'm going to Tornadus. I am going to go Arcanine. I'm going to bring Fluttermane in the back end alongside with Urshifu. Right? Yeah, I like that. I like, I like having Sucker Punch as back end too. That's what works so well, especially with the Choice Band. First turn priority, Choice Band, Stab. It's just massive amount of damage, especially in the late game. 
No, we'll see who they lead, because I, like I said, this one's going to be tough. A lot of meta Pokemon. Everybody flows together really nicely on that team. It's just, it's just always tough. It's always tough. But we knew we knew coming into Regulation D that, that the meta was going to be so stagnant, right? It's all the same Pokemon. Like, they, like, we knew it. Like, they, like Dragonite, Urshu, and all that were so strong. It was just like, dude, why would you use anybody else? But they're going to end up leading. Roll Boom and Shen Pao. So, I love the Intimidate here for me. Massive. We love it. And I think we just protect... I think we just protect... Arcanine here. Let me go from there. Do I even have Protect on Arcanine? I might not. But I'll definitely want to set up this tailwind. I do not have protect. Um, where puts rock slide e speed? I do like the e speed, but they're gonna pick me out. That's the only problem. I would love to go into a rock slide here. We'll try it. They're gonna pick me out. I think we're gonna see a big time terror. That's gotta be Shen Pao. Maybe ghost Shen Pao. So good thing we didn't go for e speed. Okay, never mind. It's gonna be real big. The real gonna tear it into steel. Ooh, I could just flare blitz that. Surprise. A nice little steel tear, which is kind of odd, right? We're dropping the rock move, so it actually works out perfectly. And Fake Out is gonna come in here. That's why I want to protect him, but. You know, sometimes it'd be like that. So Tail gonna come out here. I could definitely see a big time ice spinner coming across, just taking out my Tornadas. And we'll see how it goes. So you're sort of nice. He's gonna go after Arcanine, which is fine. I actually still did a huge chunk of damage. So Sucker Punch is probably going to come out from Shen Pao. So I think I'm just going to E-Speed it, right? Makes the most sense. So just E-Speed and Bleak Windstorm. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I do believe Sucker Punch is going to come out here from him. It just makes the most sense. Could protect. Could definitely end up protecting, but... I don't think we're sitting in a bad position. Especially if we can get off this E-Speed. Considering we have Tailwind Control, nice lovely speed. If I get off some nice damage onto uh, Shen Pao, that's massive. But I feel like he can read the E speed, but he doesn't. So E speed's gonna come out here. Show me a sucker punch. We love it. We love it. Big time reads from jeans. Big time reads from jeans. Can we get this bleak when storm landing? We do. Doing some nice damage. Another E speed will take out Shen Pal. And I'm guessing Robum is going after Tornadus, right? Get a nice little speed drop, too. Wood hammer. Oh no, you're doubling down in our time. Okay. That's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. Cool. So from here, I'm thinking of just going into Urshifu, right? Urshifu's definitely our best bet. We can close combat. We can rely on the Bleak Windstorm to land on the Shen Pao. Yeah, yeah, all day. So I'm going to close combat into the Boom. I could definitely see a hard swap from Boom, But into who? Fluttermane. Ooh. Ooh. That's tough. I definitely want a Bleak Windstorm. I definitely want a Bleak Windstorm. Do I just go Wicked Blow instead? I think I do, because I could definitely, I could so see the hard swap. I could definitely see the hard swap. So I'm gonna go in the wicked blow into uh in the roll boom. I can see the hard swap to reset the uh fake out. Right? It just makes sense. I really want to go into close combat, but I don't want him hard swapping into Flutter Mate and me just wasting out a turn, right? That could really be bad. So we're gonna actually hope that they swap into Flutter Mate here and make a read. This is going this is a solid battle so far. Solid, solid battle. We just need Bleak Wind Storm to land on this ship, pal. So there's the withdrawal. He's going into Fluttermane all day. Come on, man. Come on, man. That, that reads too easy. That's got to be Fluttermane, right? No, it's not. Still. That's fine. So Sucker Punch can come out here. We're eating. I really wish that was Fluttermane. And can Bleak Windstorm just land? Beautiful. Beautiful. So we should be able to pick up a nice, easy double KO right now. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. The Wicked Blows can come out here. If this KOs, that's huge because they do not get off the tail. It's a good thing we did not go into close combat because that would have been not very effective. And I don't think it would have KO'd. Plus, we're choosing a Wicked Blow now. It's definitely a lot better. So they're forced to bring back out Lilboom. They have Fake Out ready to go again. They probably think that we are Cobra Cloak on the Tornadus like most are. So we might just want to hard swap our Urshifu, right? We might just want to hard swap our Urshifu. Definitely want to go for this. I'm thinking just hard swapping Urshifu. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I do have to get rid of the, uh, the real boom, but I really want to choice into close combat. So I'm going to hard swap the Urshifu here. Reading that they're going into fake out. 
We now get the ghost type out there. We can dodge the fake out if that's the case. And show it to me. Show it to jeans, baby. Show it to me. We get the booster energy too, which is massive speed here. Massive speed. And the fake out goes into wow. Goes into that slot. Wow. Surprised by that. And close combat's gonna fly over here. That works. That works out totally fine. I'm cool with that. So from here, uh, we have speed already. My Pokemon are faster. I mean, Tailwind, we still have one turn left in it, right? Oh, no, we don't. Tailwind's gone. But I feel as we just got a Bleak Wind Storm in at the same time. Do we Gleam? Or we just Icy Wind? I actually could Terra Fair. I still have Terra. I think I'm gonna just go Tailwind Protect, right? I'm just gonna go to. Oh no, we don't want to protect here. I'm gonna go for Dazzling. We gotta, we gotta look to get rid of Urshfu. I knew he's gonna detect. I have no problem getting rid of Roll Boom. I have no problem getting rid of Roll Boom. I can close combat at that, take it out, no problem. Get cooking from there. But my only problem is gonna be that Urshfu. So we'll see what Roll Boom wants to go for here. Wood Hammer coming in here? Is that, is that the play? You look at KO me with wood hammer. Yeah, that's some big damage here. Can you soak this? Do not. Oof. Cool. And I was gonna protect you too, but then I was just like, oh, Earth shoes on the field if it goes for a sucker. Well, not sucker punch. If it goes for surge of strikes, it's just gonna KO me. So now we're sitting here. He has first turn priority with Aqua Jet. And the grass train's gone. But now I get to bring out just massive. Massive. We got some speed cooking. Close combat KOs this Robum all day. So Robum's not surviving. So I'm gonna choice into close combat. I'm gonna go bleak wind storm here as well. And we go get after it. We are indeed getting after it. So I don't mind that play. I don't, I don't, I don't mind losing my Fluttermane there. It was a great protect from our opponent. But yeah, Roboom can't protect. It's dead. Roboom is dead. We don't have to worry. Aqua Jet's going to come in here. It's going to do that much damage. And we pretty much wrap it up from here, right? Bleak and Storm's going to double land. It's going to almost KO Urshfu. Put it on one HP. Are you sashed? Or was that just a free focus ash? Is that just a free focus ash? We got a speed drop too. It was just a free focus, Ash. Close combat comes in here. KO's the Roboom, and now all we need to do is land a close combat or a Bleak Wind Storm. So the only way we lose this is... No, we don't lose this, right? Yeah, no, we can't lose this. Because Aqua Jet can't KO. And close combat's 100% actually. Cool. So we win this battle all day. We love it. We love it. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Going up against a meta team, grabbing a nice little 2-0 record. It's huge. So Aqua Jet's gonna come in here. Not even KO the Tornadus. Bleak Wind Storm's going to miss. Which is kinda hurtful. And then Close Combat's gonna come in here and clean up everything. So there it is, 2-0. Let's go hop to a third and final and look for that perfect record. Third and final match is here. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record and have some fun in this one. We're going up against Grimstarl, Rillaboom, Cresselia, Arcanine, Dondozo without Tatsugiri. And last but not least, they do have Volcarona. Okay. So chances are they are going to lead Grimstarl. I feel as speed control is just gorgeous here. So going into a Pokemon like Golden Go, like we did in match number one, and Tyrannus is just, I think, the play. I really do think it's the play. I'm going to bring Urshfu in the back end. It's been so good for us lately, especially with Don Dozo. I really do like Urshfu. And then last but not least, do we go Arcanine here? We got the rocks. It's going to be super effective onto the Volcarona. We do have the East Speed. We got a little bit of fire. I really like Arcanine here, especially with the Intimidate as well. So I'm going to go Arcanine here. For our final slot, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. But I know my last video I uploaded, I was talking about how I drafted my fantasy team. And I know a lot of people in the comment section down below were like, hey, yo, Jeans, let me know your team. So I drafted for two teams, one league I'm in by myself, and then the other league I'm in with my uh, one of my best friends. And we're doing like a two-manager league. And in the two-manager league, we're projected second. And in my single league, which is like our bigger league, I'm projected first. So, I'll go over that team first. That team, I'm rocking out with Joe Burrow. I'm running back some Miles Sanders and Damian Pierce. I went high on receivers now. Like, I got Cooper Cup and I have Jamar Chase with Calvin Ridley in flex. So that team's pretty stacked. That team is pretty stacked. Same thing with my second league with uh, the two managers. I got Patrick Mahomes. I got Jalen Waddle. I got Justin Jefferson because I had first overall. And then, who are my running backs? It's Miles Sanders and somebody else. I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it. 
but that team's stacked, dude. So my teams are very, very good. They're definitely very good. But uh, Volcarona and Grimstar can come out here. And this seems just like a pretty simple Tailwind, Bleakwind Storm, right? Actually, we could just Bleakwind Storm on this. I'm cool with that. Bleakwind Storm and uh, make it rain. Glacier Green's going to come out here. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. And why can't I think of my other running back? He's not bad. He's not that bad. Can we get a speed drop on Volcarona, though? No, he's just going to Quiver Dance, which, I mean, that's fine. That is fine. We are going to choice spec with a nice, lovely Make It Rain here. Quiver Dance is scaring me a little bit. And we'll go from there. The Make It Rain still KO and Grimstar. The Light Screen is gorgeous. It's lovely. It's a lovely sight. A special attack is going to drop. And then from here, I probably should have choice spec. I probably should have tricked the Volcarona. That, that should have been the play. That definitely should have been the play. Of course, he has a berry. Ripping up with the Citrus Berry. Getting back some HP. And I'm trying to think of my other running back. In my two man league, I got Patrick Mahomes, I got Jalen Waddle, and Justin Jefferson for receivers. I have Miles Sanders as running back, and I cannot think of the other one. I have Keenan Allen and Flex in that league. Like I said, I like to go wide receiver heavy. And who is my other running back? It's kind of annoying me. Oh, James Conner. I got James Conner, so that team is nasty. That team's are really, really good. But Arcanine's gonna come out here. I feel as the swap should be into probably Arcanine here, just intimidate his Arcanine. And then maybe just set up the uh the tailwind. Yeah, just for the rest of the squad. So we'll save our golden go for late game. I like that a lot. And we'll go from there. But yeah, super excited for fantasy. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of it. But Arcanine gets to intimidate. That's massive. Tailwind's to come out here. We get some speed control. We're already 2 and out, which is massive. So this third and final battle. Don't really matter to me. The Quiver Dance again. You, you got to knock that off. You got to knock that off with the Quiver Dances. So I'm coming after you. It definitely has Flame Body, which I got to watch out for. But I'm thinking of just dropping Rock Slides. The rock Slides going to come out here. And it's going to do an insane amount of damage. The thing's hitting like a truck. And from here, I'm going Rock Slide on my own. So I'll go Rock Slide, and I'm also just going to get the Storm. So I got Tailwind set up. Oh, dude, that rock side did some damage. That's gotta be choice ban, I think. That's gotta be choice ban, I believe. You've gotta be choice ban on that Arcanine. Can we get a flinch on this thing, maybe with our rock side? Because I really need to get rid of Volcarona. I do have Wicked Blow in the back, which is huge with the crits. But Bleak Wind Storm's gonna do negative five damage, and rock side. Can you get the flinch? This would be the biggest flinch of all time. Let's get an Arcanine. No, we do not get the flinch. No flinch comes out of here. So Rockside's gonna come in here. Double KO from him. Um <coughs> I don't think we're sitting bad. If I can come out here, I can bring out the flood or not flood, I mean. I can bring out the Urshifu. I can bring out the Golden Go. Really get cooking from there. As long as he doesn't have a good terror type, because I'm gonna I'm gonna terrestrialize Dark here. And look to just finish off full corona, right? So I'm gonna choice in a wicked blow. I'm gonna go into that thing. And then what are you gonna do, Golden Go? You're gonna choice into what are you choosing into? Because I definitely want this. What are you choosing into? Shadow Ball? Is Shadow Ball our best bet? Who do they potentially have in the back end? Dantozo, Rillaboom, Cresselia. Yeah, Shadow Ball. I like Shadow Ball. So I'm gonna choose into Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. Wicked Blow. We're gonna hope to actually KO this Volcarona here. Hence the reason why we are terrestrialized and going into the Dark type. Getting that big time boost. Getting that big time boost. But we already KO Grimstarl. They do have Light Screen out here. But it's not that big of a deal. The Shadow Ball should still KO the Arcanine. And if I could pick up double KO here, we could pretty much wrap it up from there, right? It ends up withdrawing our So he wants his Intimidate back, which Intimidate I'm not worried about. It's like gonna really do nothing. And he going into. It's gonna be Rillaboom. Really, Rillaboom comes out here. That's fine. I mean, you can fake me out. It's not that big of a deal. I can't detect, which kind of sucks, so that could be a big time call. That could definitely be a big time play. So we'll go into our terror type here. Again, I think this should KO Volcarona all day long. And we'll get after it. Come on, give me the KO here. Big time KO? Big time KO. So that's massive. Right? That's a massive KO. Fake out is ready to go, which is tough because I cannot protect it. I should have a choice band. But Shadow Ball is going to get cooking here. It's going to do a little bit of damage. And HP is going to start getting restored. Hmm. 
Now comes back to Arcanine. This light screen's really bothering me. Intimidate's gonna come back, which intimidates not really doing anything. So from here, I'm gonna go Wicked Blow, and on top of that, just Shadow Ball. Try to get rid of this Arcanine. I think we should be able to KO Arcanine. Will Beam's a bit more beefier than Arcanine. We're now gonna see a Terror. Oh, no. Leave me alone. You're definitely faking out. I'm trying to get rid of my Urshan. This battle's coming down to the wire. The wire, man. That's a normal Terra. So E speed. Could do some big time damage. <coughs> and I can't hit him with the ghost type move. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad, bad. That's bad. I think they just won the match on that. Shadow Ball gets neutralized. Wow. Perfect normal Terra. And Flare Blitz can come across. That actually might have just I don't know. Actually no. We lost this one all day. Cause now we can just e-speed me, yeah. Oh, recoil. Did that KO? Let's go! Let's go! Big mistake. Recoil damage taking him out. And that pretty much wins us the match, right? Because I don't see... I mean, Robin could probably KO us with a wood hammer, but... I feel as Wicked Blow is just going to do too much damage. Just KO it right here. No way. No way they just died in recoil damage. That's huge. If Wicked Blow comes out here, is that going to finish him off for a 3-0 perfect record? Come on, man. Urshifu killing it today. Urshifu killing it today. 3-0. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect record for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A choice spec Golden Go and choice ban Urshifu team to rock out in the Master Tier. Went 3-0. Grab ourselves a perfect record. And Urshifu and Golden Go definitely carried in today's video, which is really, really cool. We also had Pokemon like Tornado setting up the Tailwind. Arcanine, who was great. Fluttermane. Landers, who we did not use, but you guys seen plenty of times before. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.